In general, how much protein do you need? Well, it's safe to say as a general range, without knowing you personally, the average person needs approximately 0.7 to 1.0 grams of protein, high quality protein per pound of body weight. And please remember that too little is not good, but neither is too much. Okay. Don't fall into the trap that if some is good, more is better. No, everything can be too much. Everything can be too little. And I've said in previous shows, it's about the right dose, right? Everything has the, the optimal dose. You want that Goldilocks dose, which is going to change from day to day, season to season. Winter will be different than summer. Okay. Whatever's going on, all those factors I gave before your activity level, your gender, your goals, your age, your issues, those will all determine how much protein you need. Okay. And the key is to find the right dose for you. So good sources of protein include naturally raised, grass fed, pasture raised meats and eggs. Okay. They cannot be conventional meats and eggs bought in the store, just regular. Okay. Not all protein is created equal. We know the nutritional profile of meats that are from animals that were raised in humane conditions, the way that they have been for thousands of years out grazing in the sunshine with fresh air and natural, healthy, rich soil with healthy, natural plants that have not been sprayed with pesticides and herbicides and all of these chemicals that also affect your reproductive system, your emotional mental system. Remember, you are what you ate, ate. So the quality of the meats that you're eating matters. You know, with this popular paleo diet and keto diet and carnivore diet and all these people realizing the importance of eating adequate protein, they're missing a very important point that the type of protein, the quality of protein, the animal that you're eating is super important. It's not all equal. Okay. There's a big difference between conventional meats and eating an animal that was raised properly and pasture raised, grass fed, fed what it was supposed to eat. You would be horrified to learn what non-conventional, uh, or excuse me, what conventional meats are fed. Okay. What animal, <laughs> let me say that again. You would be horrified to learn what conventional animals are fed. Conventional farm feedlot animals are fed. They're not even ingredients. Okay. They're fed non foods. Do you know that they're fed sawdust? They're fed other ground up animal parts. They're fed cement. They're fed things that are not food. Why? Because the only goal of those farmers is to fatten up the animal because they sell animals based on weight and they don't care if that animal has 20 pounds of muscle weight or 20 pounds of fat weight or 20 pounds of sawdust weight in its gut. It doesn't matter. They get paid poor per pound of animal. So they fatten up that sucker as much as they can and they send it off to be processed and put on your plate for you based on its weight. They don't care what that animal's made of. Do you care? Because that's now becoming part of your body. And you wonder why your skin is breaking out. You wonder why you can't think clearly or you feel unmotivated. Well, you're eating garbage because what you ate ate literally garbage. Okay. You'd be horrified to know what is approved of for animals that are that are, they allow them to sell their byproducts. Okay. You know, they actually cut around, uh, tumors and any cancerous lesions in animals. They're allowed to literally cut that out of the animal and sell the rest of the animal to you. An animal that had cancer. Yes, it's okay. It's legal for them to do that. Okay. But not with, not with properly raised animals, not with pasture raised animals, not from reputable sources. Like my favorites are, uh, white oak pastures, they raise animals properly. Um, another one, oh, let's see, what is the name of that one? Bel Campo meats is another really good one. They're out there. Maybe even your local farmer. Okay. You want to find out 
what you ate ate and how that animal was raised and lived because just like us as people it will influence its body okay you're eating its body so how healthy is your body if you're living on ding dongs and you live your life in the closet in the dark how healthy is your body going to be right well that's what's happening with some of these conventional farm raised animals so please prioritize what you're eating and spend the money to make it the highest quality possible it matters Thank you.